Oh, hi. <laughs> so we are working on our moon perspective here. Now, the goal is any which way you turn this, it looks good. As the viewer, you're not looking straight out at something. You have to think of if you were laying on the ground, looking up at the sky, it's cold, it's winter, we've got some snow happening. You would see the moon behind the bare branches of the tree. And the moon would have that glow of haze all around it. So we're going to do this. We're using tempera paints, not watercolors. And Miss Mercurio has been bugging me to say, how do you do that? That's so cool. She's doing it. So she's going to follow the same directions as you. It's going to be fun. Okay, so what we need, we need a cup of white paint. And that looks like a lot of paint. It's okay. I have two sticks. I only need one, but I have a second one just in case. You need a wide paintbrush. You do not need any water. You need a second color. In this case, she would like a blue sky. We've done it with purple. We've done it with black and silver. We've done it with a red. It doesn't look so great in red, though. Where She wants blue. She's getting blue. It doesn't matter. We're going from light to dark. So here is her paper. Let's get that ready. Here's her brush. Here's her white paint. The first thing she's going to do anywhere, anywhere on this paper, she's going to make a white circle. About the size of a quarter or when you make that okay sign, that's about how big. Anywhere on the paper you want. And you got to keep it juicy. Next, we are going to add one dot of blue. And this is why we need the stick. We don't mix with our brush because then our brush gets filled with the blue gob and it's not even I have to stir it just like when you make a cake or brownie you got to make sure you get the bottom so it's all mixed if you're working in groups one person is the person to mix because this stick gets messy okay so now she's going to take this light blue and she's going to paint a ring around the moon do not cover the moon we want the moon white and she's going to do this in one swoop, stir. It's like stirring your chocolate milk. Ring around the moon. She's got it. Next, brush. We add a drop. Take your stick and stir. It should get darker just a little bit. Get the sides because I still see white on the edges. Okay, then we're going to dip and ring around the moon. Okay, if you go out for, off the paper, it's okay. One swoop around. If you run out of paint, get a little more. Okay, now look what she did. She used both sides of the stick. How am I supposed to pick this up without wearing it? This is why I have the second stick. Okay. We're going to add a little more blue. Okay. No! What did she do? She doesn't listen. So now look. She's got all this blue on the brush. It's not going to work. Stir with the stick. I got to get you a new brush. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Yep, I gave you a bigger brush. Don't mess with it. <laughs> okay, look, dirty side. Ring around the moon. So you're going to go around this one more time. You're not going to go over here because there's no more paper. She put it all the way in the corner. Not on top. Nope. 
Whoop! You need more paint on your brush. Nope, don't even bother because we're going to cut that edge off. We always cut the edges off to clean it up because we can't paint all the way to the edge. It falls, it gets a little icky and nasty. Thick brush. We're going to add more blue. Stir. It looks really cool with all the swirls, but we can't have that when we paint. Are you darker? Yes. Ready? So look. Goober paint. One swoop around. Boom. Done. More paint. Stir. And we're going to keep going until we're really dark. Swoop. All the way around. Touch the paper, hold it in place. Okay, go back over because you missed a spot. Okay, so now we're gonna. I'm adding more blue. Ooh, that doesn't work. I'm adding more blue because the darker I get, the more I need to make it darker. One swoop. Try and go for it. One big swoop. You can make the sound effects when you do it too. Yes. More blue. Now this is a lot of paint for one person. I'm kind of used to having a large group of people, not just one lady here. So. I have too much paint in my cup here. Big goober, round you go. Almost. Oh no! It's okay. <laughs> Happen is, I'm gonna get to the point where I can't make this too much darker without being plain old blue. I got maybe a couple of more rings. before it gets too, too dark. Now we're gonna keep stirring. Oh, it's amazing all, how many different color shades of blue you can do with just a few drops. Yes. See that? She's catching on. Lots of shading. All right. So this one, because we're getting really close to being almost all blue, you're going to do the one ring. Now you're going to do a second ring, but extra juicy. Extra juicy. Extra juicy. Okay. Uh -oh. Don't worry about it. We want that. It's okay. She's dripping. <laughs> so now... I have, I got a spot here. I'm going to put just plain old blue on the, use your dirty brush. It's okay. Plain old blue. Now go over that second ring you did, that extra juicy one, because now they're going to blend together. Good. Do it again. A little further out. So we're actually mixing the color right on the paper. Do it again. Same For it, go a little further out. Because now you're getting rid of some of that. Don't worry about it. We're going to cut that off. A little more. Further out. We're going to do one more for, hopefully it's plain old blue at this point. Now it comes down to how do I make that blue darker? That's kind of crazy, isn't it? What do I need to 
What do you need to make it darker? What do you think? Glitter? <laughs> white? Gray? No, no white. <laughs> we could either go with purple Ooh. or black. Which would you prefer? Black. She's going with the black. So now we have this blue, and we're going to add a dot of black. Stir that up with the brush. Ooh. And you're going to go ring around there. Check this out. You don't need much. A little more black. She's got maybe one more ring to go. And you're just going to put some black in the corner and we call it a day. Your paper is going to be soggy, wet, and gross. Leave it alone for a minute. Let it dry. Your hands are going to be filthy. You got to wash them. Soap, bubbles, lots of bubbles. Bubbles are your friends. So that has to stay just like that and dry. Now, her edges are all icky. Not a problem because... We cut it off. Nobody will ever know. When that's dry, we're going to add our trees and snow. She's very excited. All right, friends, that's part one. See you next time for part two. See you in two. <laughs> You're too young.